All right, here's the last problem on chapter six. This is very similar to number 19. I just ran out of time, so I have to just put one problem on this uh, on this video. But let's go through this again. Let me change something here with my pen. Okay, and we'll do a different color here. Uh, what we're gonna do again? This is it. Kind of looks like a um, trinomial. Oh, it is a trinomial, but it looks like the you know, m squared x. Or let's see. <laughs> It looks like the x squared x constant type of number right here, but it's not quite. This is m to the 6, m to the 3rd. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at that and let that equal just the one variable. So we're going to say let, um, you could use a, uh, I'll use x again. Since I used a different letter here, let's use x. So let x equal m cubed. Now, if x equals m cubed, look at this this is m cubed squared so really it's x squared that's the same thing as just saying x squared minus 16 would we say m cubed was it was just x we just put an x right there plus 64 equals 0 now let's factor this thing so we've got an x see the reason we do this we do this because this is an easy factoring we know x squared x constant we don't know to the sixth to the third constant. So what we did is we just, again, they've rigged this thing, so we called this just a single letter. This just happens to be, air quotes, all right, this just happens to be m squared cubed. I'm sorry, m cubed squared. Um, so anyway, we can just say since m cubed is x, then it's x squared. Uh, let's factor this thing. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Uh, eight's old work, right? Negative eight, negative eight. That's positive 64, and it's negative 16. Now, you just set them both equal to 0, but they're both exactly the same thing. So all we have to do is just say uh, x equals 8. See what I did? x minus 8 equals 0, then I solve for x. x is 8. We're not finished, though. We don't, know, we don't care what x is equal to. We care what m cubed is equal to. So m cubed and x are the same thing. So what I do is I take m cubed. Instead of x equals, I put m cubed is equal to 8. And then you just take the cube root. So m equals the cube root of 8, which is just 2. So let's write it like this. There's no plus or minus on this. It's just equal to the number 2. And we are finished chapter 6.